Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. I'm here back inside Roblox Studio. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a variant tycoon part 4. So first thing I'm going to be doing is making some text above the buttons. So you know which item you're buying and how much it costs. So, if you go over to our button, select it. And now we have a button part. If you click it, click plus, and then add in a billboard GUI. So make sure it's a billboard GUI. Inside of it, click plus. Then we can add in a frame, like this. And then now, if you select the billboard GUI again, go to properties, and then you can just customize your settings. So it could be above the button by changing the source offset in the middle one, like this. Now you can see it's above the button. So to make it above the button, just change the studs offset. Then also you could add in a text label inside your frame. So I'm just going to skip ahead until I've made a GUI. So you can see here's my GUI. It's just a text label inside a frame. And text just says dropper and then for free. So a quick thing we need to edit is inside a script. So if we go to the scripts folder, go to main script. And then inside our buying function in this part. So on line 32 and 33, go down from there and type in v dot button part dot billboard gui dot frame dot visible equals to false then if you just copy paste that so copy then on this line on line 40 go down paste it in and make sure it's still false then once again on line 44 go down paste it in this time, make sure this is set to true, like that. And that should be it for the text. So, we've closed it off. And now what I'm going to be doing is making some dependency. So basically, once we buy the dropper, then a new button should appear. So to do that, I'm going to be making a upgrader. And to make an upgrader, if you just quickly build a part, like down here, make sure it's anchored. Then you can customise it, like this. Okay, so here's my upgrader. If you select all parts, then group. Then name this to upgrader, like that. Inside of it, these two parts outside are just called frame. And the part in the middle is called main part. Then, once you have your model, drag this inside bar items. And to make it work, Select the main part, go in properties, then make sure can collide is off, so the dropper parts can go through the main part, and then now, inside the upgrader, click plus, add in a script. So inside the script, type in local debounce equals two point brackets, go down twice and type in script dot parent dot main part dot touched colon connect two brackets function two more brackets and then hit go down and type in if hit dot name equals equals speech marks and then part and hit colon find first child brackets and speech marks and then cache value then Go down and type in if not debounce square brackets and then hit. Then go down and type in hit colon find first child brackets and speech marks cash value that's our brackets do dot value plus equals to and then this is how much cash it will add on to it. So because our part gives one cash every time, if we add 9 onto that, then it'll become 10. So I'm going to be keeping it as 9. So go down and type in debounce, square bracket, hit, equals to true. So what this does is once the main part is touched, so this is a hit. And if hit equals to part, which is the dropper part, and if part has a cash value, which also the dropper parts have, and this is just debounce, checking if it's not had a debounce. And if it's not touched the part, then it'll add 
plus 9. And this line just makes it so it knows that it has touched it, so it doesn't add 9 multiple times. So this is your script, close it off. And now if we get this button, duplicate it, drag it over here, then rename this to upgrader button like this. Now we can change the text like this. Now if I change the price to 10. And another thing we need to do is click the button, click plus, add in a string value. Name the string value to dependency like this. Make sure it's spelt right. So the value needs to be set to this dropper's name, which is first dropper. So first dropper. And what this means is once we actually buy the first dropper, then it'll unlock this button. So make sure it matches up with the item name and not the button name. And now change the item value to upgrader. This is which item you'll actually buy. And because it's the upgrader, we all want to actually buy the upgrader model. So if we click play and test it out. So if we go to the tycoon, claim it, they can see we have no button and no upgrader. If you buy the dropper, they can see the button appears as well as the text. And we can't buy it because we don't have enough cash. Then if we quickly get 10 cash, okay, so we can buy it. We step on this, we get the upgrader. They can see each part now has 10 cash instead of one because of the upgrader. If we step on it, now we have 71 cash like this. If we click stop. There's also a glitch that I need to fix where you can actually claim multiple tycoons if you already own one. Okay, so to do that, if we go to our leader stats, which is in subscript service. So if you go inside your leader stats, go down and type in local owns tycoon equals to instance dot new two brackets speech marks and then bool value then comma and player. So what this does, we're making a new variable for a bool value, which is inside the player. And if you don't know what a bool value is, it can either be true or false. So if you type in owns tycoon dot name equals speech marks, and then just name it to owns tycoon. If you go down and type in owns tycoon dot value equals to false, like this. If you close it off, once again, go inside your main script. And on this owner function, if you go down from line 17 or this one where it has a variable for the player. So go down from there and type in if player colon find first child brackets and speech marks and then owns tycoon dot value equals equals to false. Then go down. Then if we copy paste this line, so paste it like this. Then go down and type in player, colon, find first child. Then once again, brackets and speech marks, owns tycoon. Outside brackets, type in value, equals to true. Then if just get this end, we can delete that. Go underneath this line here and then write in end like this. So what this does, it checks if the value so it checks if they already have a tycoon and if that equals false, then it'll make them the owner and then it just sets the value to true. So this means if you try to claim a tycoon and we already own one, then we won't be able to. So if you just duplicate a tycoon and then click play, once we load in and claim the tycoon, oops, we've got an error. Okay, I just realized I spelled tycoon wrong. So make sure everything is spelled correct. Then once again, click play. And now once we're in the game, claim the tycoon. We can see this works. We can get dropper and stuff like that. But if we try and claim this tycoon, they can see I can't claim it. 
and if you try stepping on these then this don't work because we're not the owner and guys that's gonna be it for today's video if this video helped make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe down below in the description you can check out my roblox group and discord server and i'll see you later bye